I'm getting ready to head to my second home, Sephora, and I figured I'd do a little behind the scenes vlog today because I just got back from being out of town basically for a month and I have so much I need to do to get my life together. My space is a mess so we need to deal with that. Uh, all of that good stuff. So Fenty just launched their new blur foundation stick. So I'm gonna walk over there. I haven't been to Sephora in forever, so I just want to see what else is new. I'm suffering from breaking out because I tested a new moisturizer and skin does not agree with it. So I just put on my refer hydration cream. This is foolproof. Whenever I'm breaking out. I always use that to calm my skin down. Then I'm using my Inky List Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen. Because I'm going to be out in the sun. We can't play with this Miami sun. My hair is still wet from <laughs> my shower this morning. I did a solid core class. Oh my gosh, I'm so sore. I've been doing solid core for months now, but... I took a good two weeks off, and when you take more than a week off, when you come back, it's gonna be so sore. So I took a class two days ago, and I'm still sore from that. So it was extra painful <laughs> doing it today. Um, but I also did my nails last night. I've been on um, a press-on nail journey, and the Glamnetic Short Almonds are my favorite, and I have really petite nail beds. Um, this is the only brand that actually has nails my size so i don't need to shape them down or anything so these are the haley's they are so cute and elegant if i were getting married again i would do something like this let's head out it is literally so hot outside, I had to shower and change again. But I got what I needed. Every time I go to Sephora for a new launch day, this one in particular, I have to tell them, hey, it's launch day, and they always have to grab for it in the back. Cause she was trying to argue with me that today was not launch day. I was like, yes it is. And then I also picked up a couple of the new Rare Beauty. I got an eyeshadow stick, since I'm into eyeshadow sticks recently. And then the new brow pencil since i talked so much trash about the last one anyways look what i just got dropped off at my doorstep thank you cook unity for sponsoring today's video so i told you earlier i just got back from vacation i'm trying to get my life together so on those times that i know i'm going to be really busy for the week I like to order some of these Cook Unity meals. Cook Unity is the first ever chef to consumer meal delivery service. All the meals are fresh, they're never frozen, so I get mine literally dropped off at my doorstep and then when I open it, uh, there's a gel pack to keep everything cold and then I just pop them in the fridge. You get to select the meals that you want every week and they have plans from like four meals a week up to 16 meals a week and they have over 50 chefs that are in their network and there's a lot of variety in the food asian mediterranean american italian latin food that's why i like it i love the variety and the types of cuisine but if you do have dietary restrictions they also have vegan meals vegetarian gluten free so that's great as well that they have those options and they're able to provide that variety because of the chefs that they have all over the country so let's see what i have this week some of these are my husband's selection. Some of these are mine. We've literally paid for this with our own money before on those weeks that we know we're going to be busy. I've convinced my mom to order these as well for when my dad goes to work. So this was Jose's choice. He got a pork melanese with onions and peppers. We have a chicken tikka masala. This one's definitely mine, shrimp chow mein. And I chose for my meals all under 600 calories because whenever I come back from vacation, I feel like a disgusting person and I need a little bit healthier items. We have Michelle's meatballs and spaghetti. This one was mine, Greek style chicken gyro with pita wrap. I think I might have that for lunch today. And then Yemenite 
shrimp curry is part of the meals. So these are actually cooked in micro kitchens, not warehouse production facilities. So I feel like a lot of love goes into this. And Jose and I have gotten to know chefs that we like the meals of. It's really neat. So the chef who prepares your meals, you can actually learn more about your meals when you use this guy right here. It's the QR code. And it's great for busy weeks because you don't have to do any meal prepping, grocery shopping. You don't have to clean up. That's my big thing. And you make it completely convenient for you because you can skip weeks, you can pause for weeks at a time, you can cancel at any time. So I pause and skip all the time until I know I'm going to be busy. So if you want to try it out, go to cookunity.com slash Morgan Turner or click the link in the description box and use my code Morgan Turner 50 to get 50% off your first week of meals and then just try them out for yourself one week. It ain't gonna kill you. It'll make your life a lot easier. Before I make lunch though, I need to try this fenty stick. The point you're watching this though, the review of this is already up, but I wanna see the color. I put on a little bit of concealer to try and get my face not as red. So this is 100% recyclable packaging. Mm. Looks like it might be a hint dark. Looks perfect. Okay, I did a good job. And that felt really smooth too. Is it emollient? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I am going to film a TikTok and a YouTube video just doing my makeup. So if you wanna see my thoughts, I will link down below my review to this, but it's time to get to filming for the day. By the way, I am sitting in a month's worth of products just being thrown everywhere because I ha it's like an organized mess. No, it's not organized. Like, look at all of this. <laughs> this is PR. I have to unbox today or tomorrow, but I'm going to film this video first and then I can be a little bit more productive after that. Oof, it looks so good, right? I also tested a new Sydney Grace palette that launched in the Christmas in July, Heaven on Earth. So pretty. I love the pop of green. Um, I'm starving, so I'm about to go grab something to eat. For lunch, I'm having Cedric Nicholas's Greek style chicken gyro pita wrap with handmade tzatziki. Oh! She looks so juicy! And then Jose is having Chef Michelle Bernstein's meatballs and spaghetti with Nana's tomato sauce and whipped ricotta. Oh, I love a meatball. Mm. My editor, AKA my husband, just finished editing the video I'm gonna post today, so I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes or so watching it, uploading it, doing the description box. So today was a heavy, heavy computer day. Just getting a lot of that squared away before the weekend because I have to go out in a couple hours. So I'm gonna finish this. One of the most tedious parts of my day, and I normally do this at the end of the day before I start cleaning up, is whatever products I use in a video, I leave them on my table and when I muster up the energy, I have to link everything. I also do that because when my husband edits my videos, he's not into makeup. He, I need to make sure he gets the right product, whether it be for the screenshot overlay or for necessary photos in my thumbnails, things like that. So I like to have them all linked and ready to go to help him with the editing process as well. Just a little behind the scenes of the whole creative process and how we do this. Yep, I'm gonna go through everything and then I think I'm nearing the end of my work day. Since I'm like very behind right now, I'm definitely gonna do some stuff tomorrow. I need to unbox my PR packages. That'll be a fun one, but it's already 4.30 somehow. I, I got a later start this morning after my workout. I chilled for a little bit before having breakfast and then I had to wait for Sephora to open and Sephora took forever to get what I needed. So I feel like I didn't get that much done today, but in reality, right? This counts as a video. Got the uh, wear test going. 
That's two videos. I filmed TikTok for the new foundation as well. It was rather productive, actually. Sometimes, like with this as my job, um, when you do this, it can feel unproductive because things take so long to do. So you can really only complete like two or three tasks in a day when it comes to content creation. But in reality, that's enough. It's just everything takes a long time. Not complaining, that's just how it is. But <laughs> okay, let me get on these links. You know why I'm talking to you? Because I'm procrastinating. But if you are wanting to become a creator, very important part is links now i don't rely on links to actually be my income that's what happens you know i do a lot of negative reviews and stuff we're not gonna shop on my negative reviews but i just think overall it makes it easier and more convenient to the viewer which is super important because i want you guys to come back to my videos use them as resources so i try and like everything that i'm wearing or using i recommend using the f i don't i'm trying to think of what i use mostly magic links reward style and then i use howl as well which i think might be by invitation only but the best is start off, to start off with magic links and reward style i will say when i first applied because i had to apply i don't know if it's different now it's been a few years reward style rejected me <laughs> so if they reject you after you grow a little bit more come back but i've always had a special place in my heart for magic links because they they accepted me when i was small okay bye okay to close us off we are making an intro for one of my tiktoks so i'm the ultimate of lazy and i just film like this every time but I already did the application portion for my TikTok, but I need to show the packaging up close, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, boom. I'm done working full today. My hair will not do though. I'm going out to dinner with a friend from social media, actually, Anna. I'll tag her here. She does the best hooded eye tutorials. She's so talented. So her and her husband are just on a little vacation in Miami. So we're gonna meet them for dinner. In the meantime, I'm gonna do something about this hair. It won't last, but we can attempt. So I'm just using my t3 curling iron now this has three detachable heads of different sizes i love it so much i'm using the biggest wand right now and i'm just kind of rolling some heat through it because my hair has a lot of natural frizz and my mom is calling me one second okay just like a light run through this will last all of five minutes. Just here in Miami with the weather. But A for effort. Okay, hello, good morning. It is now the weekend. It was Friday night, last you saw me. So we went out to dinner, it was fantastic. And I took Saturday just to chill, do my weekend things. But today is Sunday and I need to tackle my month's worth of PR packages that I got when I was out of town. It's just making the feng shui in my space horrific. So I normally like to do this on the weekends so that I can come back on Monday and just feel fresher. Like literally, what a catastrophe. So this is normally um, a team effort. So my husband, he breaks down the boxes and deals with that. And then I like to post on my stories when I get NPR. One, because I like to hear from you guys what you want to see. But also, um, it's a big deal for me to thank the brands. I, I'm very thankful for what I get. So I do like to tag them when I get some products. So this is going to be, this is going to take a while. So this is my big Saturday activity you guys look at this glamnetic pr package that i got 
I tagged them because I was sharing how much I love them because I've literally purchased these by myself. And they sent over so many styles. That's where I got this one from, the Haley. And I also started, I opened this one and decided I didn't want it. But <laughs> anyways, thank you, Glamnetic. Oh my goodness. Here's another neat one. Urban Decay sent over their new shades of the Lip Bond, which I like them. I don't love them, but they do have good pigment, and I like the new shades that they have. They're like mauve neutral tones. <gasps> so cute. Inside lane, missing exits, include to the pavement. Between the lines, I keep my gaze straight ahead as the last stop flies by. We finished, but now I have to go through this and organize what I'm keeping, what I'm giving away. And then I also like to organize all my new makeup by video ideas as well, because sometimes they'll make good TikToks, sometimes they'll make good videos for YouTube. So this normally takes me like two hours to go through and put everything where they need to be. So I normally do this with skincare first and then makeup. So I just decluttered and organized all of the skincare. And I've already started the makeup. I'm already getting rid of a bag of stuff, but I'm going to keep going now. <laughs> no more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once. I don't need to go around anymore. I am all cleaned up and ready to start the new week of work. I even organized most places. Look, 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 look. No more makeup on the floor, yay! I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and a huge thank you to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link down below to sign up. Make sure you use my code and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.